Dream a little dream of me. Welcome, Kindreds. It's Jessica the Story Witch, and it's Witch Casket time. This is my August box, and it's making a really like interesting noise. <laughs> so let's turn the camera around and have a little look what's inside. It's actually a little bit grey and rainy here in the UK today, so I hope the light is going to be good enough. Oh, the sticker is already. Ooh, we have green. <laughs> I love how each month is kind of themed and the colour is definitely connected to the theme each time. So let's have a quick little look at the, at the information. Witch casket. Here's August witch casket. We could all use some good fortune. Uh, okay. From time to time. And let's hope that August good for fortune witch casket helps to bring good luck your way. And then it tells you about remembering to read all this stuff because it gives you a full list of contents. But let's not have a look at that. Oh, no, no, no. Let's dive in and have a little look what's in here. I keep these as well. I've been using them for like wrapping presents and for crafty stuff as well. So that's really cool. Gorgeous tea cake art print. Look at that. Wow. I've been following her on on um, Instagram now since I've been getting these boxes because I just love her style of artwork so much. It's kind of so clean, but vibrant somehow. I love that, that's gorgeous. Actually reminds me a little bit, I've seen loads of people doing the Sacred Heart Oracle um, um, unboxing, no, not Oracle, Tarot unboxings these last couple of weeks. And I haven't actually got it myself, although I am kind of intrigued by it but yeah it's the same a similar sort of style you know kind of minimal background and then really vibrant art I wonder if she will do a tarot or a project one day and what else do we have sorry I'm bumping the light here as well a good fortune ritual kit I love these little ritual kits that they include I'm gonna pop that there we have our little scroll which I won't open that just yet either something is making a very interesting noise in here so I'm what is this? <laughs> okay, so it's some kind of hanging, I think it be like a hanging incense burner or something like that. Let's open this one. It's so cool, the attention to detail in these boxes. It's just, oh wow, that's gorgeous. So I'm guessing this kind of hooks on here. Oh, right, I'm going to have to move the box so you can actually see because there's not enough room. Let's put that, okay. <laughs> I'll put the box down here and we'll go back and forth to it. So this is quite big. That's really gorgeous. Yeah, really lovely. I like that. So kind of like a um, aromatherapy diffuser is what it is. Although that little hook would come in handy for other things too, I think. Right, what else do we have? So that was in that bag. I'll just pop that there out of the way for a second. We have got a little pin badge. My pin badge collection is growing really beautifully since I've been subscribed to this box. Wow, oh, it's the sun. You can't get more good fortune than that, can you? The sun, beautiful. Beautiful little pin badge. I'm put that in the base of there for a second. And <laughs> something cute and funny. This looks like another cauldron that, um, pendant. There was a cauldron pendant a few months ago, and I even spoke then. Oh, it's not a cauldron. It is a little crystal ball with good fortune on it, but it feels really kind of similar in vibe to that cauldron pendant. I don't know if you if you follow me on Instagram, I, I combined that cauldron pendant with a um, hematite crystal in a cage, and I tend to wear those together now, but that little good fortune one, that could be handy to combine with a little caged crystal too. <laughs> we have a lucky sixpence. This lucky sixpence could bring you extra luck when you need it most. It is tradition for anyone seeking good fortune to turn over a silver coin in their pocket three times whenever they see the full moon. Also, being without money at the time of the new moon is thought by some to be unlucky. So carry this coin with you to bring only good fortune your way. Those are the kind of 
um, tales that my mother-in-law likes to tell me as well, which is cool. I kind of like old folk tale type information, which is obviously a very good resource if you're interested in kind of more historical crafting. And what else do we have? We have some Tulsi Basil incense cones. Let's have a little smell of those. I really like basil incense actually. It's a really kind of powerful. Oh wow. Yeah, they smell amazing. I took them out so you can see they're bright green. And they smell, they do smell really good. So that should be good. Fun to burn those and will attract some good fortune, I am sure. What else? We have the tea. The jasmine tea that was in, I think it was in the last one, maybe the one, no, the one before was so good. This is pure rosehip tea, which would be really kind of stimulating as well. A lot of this stuff is kind of quite stimulating. Although also balancing, I guess. If they were, wow, what's this? This looks like some kind of wall hanging. And I'm knocking everything because I'm getting too excited about seeing what's inside. Let's undo these. <laughs> it's like a pen, um, like a pennant, you know, like a coat of arms, a witchcraft coat of arms. It's got a little fringe on the bottom there. <laughs> That'll be super cool, hang up in my room somewhere. Maybe even hang it up there. Hmm. Lots of possibility with that. <laughs> really cool. Just have a little big round in the box. And I think that's it, apart from there's always a crystal. And this month it is jade. And this looks like a very dark piece of jade. Interesting colour. I have got a couple of other pieces of jade. But they are not as dark or as kind of... Um, they don't have as many lines and marks in them as this piece has. It feels really, really good actually. Really good. Yeah, I'm loving that. And it says jade is harmonious and the lucky stone. I'll pull that so you can see it as well. Believed to bring harmony, friendship and luck to its bearer. Said to be good for spiritual, physical and emotional well-being. It is thought to help you lead a richer and more fulfilling life. Well, who would not want that? That sounds really cool. And that would be a good combination. I know these stones probably are a little bit large to be worn in cages, but I do manage to shove them in there quite often and will perhaps combine that or maybe a smaller piece of jade that I've got with the Good Fortune uh, pendant. That's really cool. Loving it, loving it. Okay, so I didn't open the scroll. Should I do that next? Let's have a look what we've got here. Ooh. I literally just have painted my nails before the postman came and I've completely ruined them doing the opening. <laughs> but it's a small price to pay, so I will wash that off and get sorted. Good fortune in magic. Good fortune seems to favour some people more than others, but it is possible to turn this around. What we must not do is perform a good luck spell or ritual and then sit around waiting for our luck to change. And I love in these things that the person who creates these, she's a, a practicing witch and she is just so on my wavelength with how, how things work. <laughs> And yeah, she's got there as an example. If you wish to be lucky and work, it be it would be folly to perform a spell for a new job, quit your existing job, and wait for the spell to work its magic. You must be patient and diligent in order for the magic to work in your favour. You've already put your energy and intent and expectations into the universe when you performed your spell or ritual. And now you must look out for the signs and omens and opportunities that present themselves to guide you to your good fortune. So that is it, isn't it? It's that kind of... Um, where I take issue a lot with law of attraction type stuff I find it is there's a lot of crossover between law of attraction and magic but magic for me certainly uh Kellyanne Tote spoke about this really well recently as well actually where she was talking about you've got to do the earth work you have to actually do stuff in order for you know for things to actually happen I've spoken about this I know in videos in the past as well you know it's no good just kind of casting and then sitting on your ass. So, <laughs> so should we have a look at the last one? This is the Good Fortune Ritual Quick Ritual Kit. 
these bags have been quite handy actually as well. I found I've been reusing them. So I was a little bit concerned about them first of all because they're obviously like plasticky foil. But they do reseal, so they're quite handy for keeping things in. Okay, I'm just gonna tip this out onto here and see what I can smell mint straight away. I think that's everything out there. So we have a green candle, a little bag of I'm sure mint. Uh, a pencil which says magic is the mother of good fortune <laughs> and then we have some green paper which I'm assuming is going to be used with the pencil let's have a look what it says good fortune ritual instructions using the pencil and green paper write down an area of your life in which you wish to attract good fortune financial love career etc sprinkle the paper with the dried mint fold the paper up with the dried mint inside Set fire to the paper using the green spell candle and drop it into a heat-proof dish to burn. As it burns, chant the following. In this fire, my desire, as it burns, my luck turns. Bad luck burns out, good comes about. As the green candle burns down, meditate and feel the joy of your luck changing for the better. So it's a nice simple ritual, but I love how they just... You know, it's, it is really simple, but just with those correspondences giving that extra kind of boost and focusing that intention, I really like, yeah, I really like how they put together their ritual kits and spell kits in this box. And it's one of the reasons why I keep coming back to it. So, yeah, so that is everything. Let's have a quick little look at the contents so we know what everything is. So we had the witchcraft pennant. Yeah, this gorgeous pennant here, the wall hanging, the Good Fortune Parchment Scroll, the Good Fortune Ritual Kit, which we just looked at, the Lucky Sixpence, which is hilarious, and yeah, yeah, it's good fun, the Crystal Ball Pendant by Curiology, so I think that is our little Good Fortune, and Curiology is where they tend to get most of their little kind of exclusive jewellery bits and bobs. Witch Casket exclusive, the Sun Tower Pin, which is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really, oops, upside down. Really love that. Really, really gorgeous. Black Cat Art Print by Tea Cake Art. The Altar or Cauldron Burner, which is really lovely. And yeah, like I said, I think I'll find extra uses for that little hanging hook as well. They're always handy. <laughs> Uh, Rose Hip Tea, uh, which is from Tea Cakes of York, Tulsi Basil Incense Combs, and Jade Tumblestone and Info Card. So, yeah, we have seen everything, and that is a full on box of goodies. I can't actually even fit it in because I've put my camera down a little bit too low, <laughs> which was a bit silly, but hopefully, you can see all of that amazing, amazing stuff. and. You know, if you can't get some good fortune with all that, then what can you do? <laughs> really cool. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Warmest, warmest blessings, and I will see you very soon.